Okay, hello everyone. This is uh, MS Paint Artist. Um, first, just this is going to be my first video, and I'm just going to show you the basics of paint. And first, to start off with, I'll show you how to find paint. Now, I already have it here in my start menu. But if you don't have it there, you can go to all programs, uh, accessories, entertainment as usual. Or it'll be down there actually. That's never mind. It's down there. Okay. So you open up paint. Right. Now I'm going to show you how to use everything. If if you know all of this, you know, just don't bother watching this video. But some people don't actually know how to use this. Okay. I'm going to start down at the bottom with this tool. This tool you can just draw either an outline, an outline with a filled in colour. Select the colour you want to fill in with the right, not the right, yes, the right click click. <laughs> or just a block of colour, which is bottom option. Okay? Just get rid of that. Okay. And same goes for this, really. Yes. Okay. And, you know, and this one as well. Okay, you get the idea of those particular tools. Those are simple. Right, this is a useful tool, I find. This, you can draw a whole of the straight lines, you know, one after the other. They have to join at the end, of course. And then if you do it with this, you can, you know, you draw the outline of the shape you want to draw. You know, it's just, this is just a random shape. And then it'll fill it in with all the colour. And then the bottom option, it just fills in your shape full of that one colour. Okay. And then we're going on to feet. This is the line tool. I'm sure you should probably all realise that the line tool is going to be used to draw lines. And I'm making a hitch there with my angular V. So that yeah, that's simple. And you know, here you can pick what how thick you want this line to be, you know. You know, just simple really I think that is. And the curved line tool. Everyone seems to find this difficult to use. Cause you have to move it twice before you can use a new line. So if you say you've gotten the line how you want it and then you go to start a new line and it does that and everyone finds that quite annoying but that's just something you'll have to deal with so if you've got it the way you want it and you want to start a new line just click off of that tool, click back on it and you're ready to go, okay? and then there's this tool you know, it's just it's just simple really you can either choose it to do that or you can have it see through so maybe if I had the background like that you can write it in you know a blank square or you can write it see through basically and then ah, we have the spray paint tool again you know it's got three different options of the you know how big you want this spread out this can be quite a useful tool if you're trying to go for an interesting effect. But yeah. Then you have this, which is just a paintbrush. Which, you know, it's a lot like the pencil, which you'll see next. But, you know. Oops. And you can choose the different... How big you want your brush to be. And then there's square options and then there's these lines which you know I can't quite figure out no okay it makes a cool effect if you do that but I can't see a way you would use it if you're drawing personally then there's the pencil which you just get in one in one size really but I find it good for sketching out things you know 
Then you have the magnifying glass, which draw a circle there. Magnifying glass, you can zoom in, or you can zoom in more, like that, or zoom in eight times. Whatever you think you can do to get in all your details. Sorry about that. Um, this is the eyedropper. So let's see, you've got you've got like a whole of the colours and that. And then you want to go back to this green colour. You can instead of going down and finding it on your toolbar down here, you can just use your eyedropper tool, click on it, and you've automatically got that back. Or you can right click on it and you know that way you can use it with your right click instead of your left click which can become very useful a lot of the time. Okay, and then we're in the full bucket, you know, that should be quite simple. Pick a colour, click, it all goes, that colour. Also, if you have like a shape and there's no gaps, that can all be filled in with one colour. Yep. Okay, then you've got the rubber. I find the rubber very interesting and I'll, I'll show you why I find it interesting. Okay, I'll just draw two pictures. They're not pictures, they're just squiggles, so don't worry. Okay, so basically you just choose the amount of in you want the rubber and it just goes to whatever colour is on the bottom down here. Okay? So yeah. Or, you can choose to rub out one colour by selecting the colour you want to rub out with your left click. And then the colour you want it to rub out to on your right click then right yes right click and then you know it'll just rub out the colour that you have selected as your primary colour or you could choose instead of putting it to white maybe you drew that line and you wanted it to be green so you go over it and it'll rub all that colour out into green I find that useful a lot of the time. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Then you have the selector tools which you've seen me use quite a lot like for this video. Basically you can use this one to select blocks and you can move it around the place or you can just delete it. And then you can draw a squiggle. <laughs> Sorry, I, I am more artistic than this, I just choose to do this because it's faster. And you can choose, with this star one, you can choose the area you want to cut out and move, you know, or delete. Right, so basically that's how you use all of the tools. Okay, now to teach you some cool tricks I have learned, which, you know, they're maybe not very useful in artistic drawings, but you know, it's interesting. So just do what I'm doing, like draw a nice little squiggly picture. I'm very good at squiggly pictures. Right, now, if you select this, it's like that, just put it up into the corner. Now if you hold down shift, and it's on this bottom option. So shift, bottom option, and drag it along. How cool is that? Yeah. And you know, it just leaves, leaves the pattern around. And I think that just makes an effect, personally. And what else? Well, you will be able to do this. But I can't do it because I'm on the laptop and we don't have the right keys. But basically, if you press shift and then on your number pad, thing, press shift and then the plus button you'll get a bigger, like a bigger sized rubber or shift and minus and you get a smaller rubber. But I can't do that because I don't have the number key thing. Okay, well that'll be the end of this video I think. So um, yeah, tune in for some more tips afterwards. This is just my basics. So you know.